In this video, we are taking our first look at these, the Saucony Triumph 20. I am a massive, massive fan of Saucony in 2022. Hopefully you've realised that by now. Now, if you're new to this channel and you didn't know that, that was the case, make sure you subscribe before you leave us today. Okay, right, so the Triumph 20. Now, as a heads up, this shoe was provided to me by Saucony. But you know what? I'm going to say anything I want, as always. Okay, so let's do stats and features. 154 pounds, this is a daily trainer, max cushion daily trainer, I would say. So think Glide Ride, think uh, New Balance 1080 version 12. We've got um, 10 mil drop, we've got mono mesh upper, power run plus um, midsole. Well, it's been stacked up, uh, we've got 37 mil in the heel. We've got a really groovy outsole, by the way. Look at the outsole, it looks really cool. Um, nice upper. Like the additions here of these like pull tabs for the laces to really give you a great lockdown. You've got plenty of foam in the heel because it's a Triumph, so it's there for comfort. Uh, we've got this on the back, which is an absolute waste of time. And I think that's about it. Oh, lacing's awesome, fits true to size. Uh, 10 ounces, hang on a sec, I'll double check. Yeah, 10.10 .10 ounces, 280 something grams um, in terms of weight. I think that's about it in terms of stats and features. Okay, so this is a first impressions. Um, I'm, you know, at the end of marathon trading, so uh, long runs have been limited in it, but we've got one in. Uh, we've done a couple of other bits and bobs in it, and I wanted to give you that initial feedback. So for me, this is a big improvement over the uh, previous version. It feels lighter, it feels more comfortable, it feels more alive underfoot, where the previous Triumphs were a bit of a, a, bit of a tank, a bit of a machine but it definitely feels a, a much more comfortable and enjoyable, long run, capable shoe. Now don't get me wrong, this is a lot of shoe, right? You may prefer something like a Nova Blast 3, but for me, I'm looking at it versus previous version and what else is out there. I think they've done a very good job of bringing this shoe up to speed and sort of slightly better than some of the competition. So for me, for example, this is better than the Glycerine 20. Um, it just feels a little bit more sort of socking a little bit more, just, uh, yeah, just a little bit, uh, something extra about it. Uh, just, it's comfortable, it just rolls nice, it cruises great, breathable upper, super comfortable, really nice step-in feel on the shoe. The outsole's great in terms of traction. There's nothing really here that, that you're going to go, oh, that's a bit boring, or that's a bit heavy, or, you know. You, I, I, and I like to moan. I'm struggling to find things to moan about with this shoe. Now, I probably prefer the 1080 version 12 from New Balance um, as, as an overall package, but trying to be objective here, I think the, the, the Triumph 20 is not, a f is not a million miles away from that shoe. It's definitely a softer feel than the Glide Ride 3, for example. Um, if you put me up against the wall and put a gun to my head, which one would I take on a 20 mile run? I'd probably still take the Glide Ride 3, but that's just personal preference. And this is, this is a shoe that sort of sits between the 1080 version 12 and the Glide Ride 3. I think the biggest problem for this shoe, right, is not the fact of whether it's any good or not, is that the fact that there's so many shoes now in this space, this sort of max cushion daily trainer, or, you know, yeah, soft to thin. You've got the Fresh Foam More version 4 coming out, for example, and there's just so many shoes in that area now, it's very hard to choose between them. So I would say as a first impression, the Triumph 20 is definitely an improvement. It definitely feels lighter. It definitely feels a, a nicer ride. And as I said, it is one of those shoes that you can go long in. Um, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a real improvement over previous versions. But it is in a space that is overcrowded. It does have some of my favourite shoes in there, Glide Ride 3 
and the um, 1080 version 12 momentary loss of memory. So I think the best thing I'm going to do now is go away, put much more miles in it and then come back and report back. That's obviously the right thing to do. Um, but more importantly, I can't, I've got to get my head straight on this shoe. But the first impressions are, it's a great shoe. It's definitely been improved. I think it, it's it's really in the game in terms of this, this area that I'm talking about. Um, if you've been a fan of the previous versions, you're going to love this. But this is definitely something to think about if you are looking to get a shoe that you need to do some long work in just to crew and to cruise about in. This is definitely worth putting in your list and trying out. Okay, right, that's it. That's where we're going to leave this. First impressions only, people. Uh, I'll come back as always. We'll do some comparison videos as well once I've got my head straight on where it's at. But yeah, Triumph 20, yeah, nothing not to like here.